discuss some basic uh, informations of COVID, the reasons why we are using test X-ray images, some basics of CNN, text stacks which we have used to develop our project, the project workflow, then uh, how we have developed the project like pre-processing of data, training the model, then how we have de uh, deployed our model, and at the end the results, our future plans and conclusion and references. Now, uh, coming to the next slide, we will see the introduction. As we know, coronavirus are a family of virus that can cause respiratory illness in humans. In our project, we will detect COVID-19 using chest X-ray of patients. And the reasons why we are using chest X-ray images to detect COVID-19 instead of test kits is that uh, this process will be more handy. And when the situation gets more pathetic, testing kits are uh, hard to find uh, so we are developing an automated analysis system to detect COVID-19 more easily. Now in this slide we will see about CNN or convolutional neural network. It is a subset of machine learning. It is one of the various uh, it is one of the various types of artificial neural networks which are used for different application and data types. Here we are using CNN because they are very uh, they are very accurate at image recognition and classification and they do not involve human supervision for the task of identifying the features of a particular image. Now we will see the text stacks which we have used to develop our project. So Python and Jupyter for pre-processing of uh, our data. Now Google Colab for the training of the model and visual studio for making the web app and android studio for making and developing uh, the android app now we'll see the project flow at first we'll upload the data set then we will process the images and then we will use those pre-processed images for training uh, the model and then we will use the model for web app and android app development uh, now we will see the pre-processing of data so at first we will upload the data set on jupyter and pre-process the images then we will uh, use the data set the pre-process data set to train the model then we will use the model to make the web and the android app Now Devajyoti will discuss about. Acha Promita, tomorrow seven seven to same project kore chile. Aito. Yes. Ekena extra ki kore chhu. Sir, agi amra web app portion to kore chhu. Main bar amra Android app ta develop kora test ta kochi. UI ta bani kichi. Aar model ta kuchhe deploy kore to tar kore ota kaj kore. Android app ta test ta kochi. Yes. But uh, algorithmic wise, ane. A model, deep learning model, deep learning model use for it, right? Yes. Data can you change for it? Any uh, improvement? Yes, sir. I can model to change for it. What a Android app to for it, that for a model to verify. Okay. Okay. Tell me, if you want to do something, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do Android app can do it. A portion. Pina. Thank you, Pramita. Good evening, sir. Uh, we have started our Android app development. Uh, so we can see in the first diagram on successfully launching the app, uh, we would be able to see the icon app icon, and uh, on clicking the app icon, we would be able to see the splash screen. That is the app opens, and in the next slide. After the splash screen, it will ask for camera permission. On giving the camera permission, we would be able to select the camera, uh, select the image from the our phone gallery, or we would also be able to capture the image uh, uh, from our phone. Then, uh, in the next slide, uh, we can see that uh, we are uh, taking an image from our 
phone gallery and uh, we would be able to predict uh, once our model is deployed and it is under process so next slide so our future plans we have till now uh, done our web app and we would also want to uh, make our UI of the web app uh, more attractive for a smooth user experience and we have till now also done our Android app UI part uh, and we would be deploying the model in our Android app uh, which is under process to make it a, fu a full functioning app Android app. So next slide. Conclusion. In the previous, uh, st previous stages of COVID era we have witnessed the panic and terror of dangerous caused by the dangerous virus and numerous people uh, were affected by the virus and even causing numerous deaths which locked us in our uh, homes for a period of time even now the virus is evolving itself and a greater number of people are still affected by it so we as a group intend to help the people by providing a cost effective alternative approach uh, to detect covid uh, from an x-ray image in much faster way with the help of deep learning algorithm. Thank you. Uh, hello. Yes. yes Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Can I continue? Yes. Uh, Prometa, let's go, uh, go to the slide. Uh, good evening to everyone present here. My name is uh, Devajati Mullik and I'm going to talk about the training the model. Uh, so we have trained the model in Google Colab. We added four convolutional layers for better experience, better performance. So in each layer, the activation was ReLU, except for the last layer, we, we, we kept a single neuron and sigmoid in the activation since we are performing binary classification in that part. So now we have two classes. The COVID is classified as zero and normal is classified as one to get the binary result from the data generator function. So we have also used the fit generator function to actually do the epochs. So there was 12 epochs in 10 steps per epoch. Next slide, please. Now, about the deploying the model. So, in backend, we have used the libraries that we have used is Flask, Keras, TensorFlow, and several others. And all the language that we have used is Python. So, the front end, we have used Java, I, J, JS, JavaScript, and HTML because for the web app part. And then we have for Android app, we have used Android Studio to deploy it in the uh, uh, Android app as well. Uh, thank you, Devot Jyoti. Uh, hello, sir. Myself, Ognivo here. So here uh, is how our web uh, web app looks like after deploying the model into the web. Uh, here we have given the title of the page in the first header file as COVID-19 testing using X-ray images. We have provided two buttons here. One is to choose the file, which is basically an image selector. From this button, we will uh, be able to choose. Okay, okay, Ognivo. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So already, Promita has said that uh, you are you will uh, develop the Android app. Okay. No, no. So I, I uh, worked on the. Uh, actually, Srija so developed the Android app. I I have worked on this app. But it is already done in your semester. What is yeah, the yeah. new thing you have done in this semester? This the new thing is this Android app. Android app. Uh, Which Cija has already discussed. Okay, so regarding accuracy, what what accuracy you are getting? The ninety-five percent. Ninety percent testing or training? Uh, uh, testing. Ninety-five percent. Testing. How much data are there? Uh, approximately. Sir, so there are nine hundred something data. Sir, yeah, nine. Yeah. 900, some, uh, 900 all through, uh, that means training and testing all together? No, uh, no, 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 no. For training for each data set we have 900 something, for testing we have 200. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, 200 uh, negative, 200 positive, like that way we are. 200 and you are getting 95 percent. Yes, sir. Yes. Accuracy. You, uh, which model you have used? So, so you have not really used a like, uh, model like... Uh, like predefined model, we have made a model of our own. Model of your own? Yes. Okay. That it is, is uh, similar to CNN? Yes. 
Okay. How many layers are there? Uh, there are four. Four layers. Hmm. So you are, so you are getting ninety percent accuracy uh, on your test uh, test data set, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And um, I like I guess it's ninety six in the training one. Ninety six training. Yes. And for nine, uh, testing, it is ninety-five. Yes, uh, somewhere around that. Okay, try to improve on uh, on that. Okay, you are do okay. you are you are doing uh, in sem seven semester. Uh, you are getting that ninety-five uh, percent accuracy on testing data. But uh, try to improve in this semester. Okay, and okay, parallelly sir. and parallelly you can do the Android app also. That is fine. But uh, try to improve the um, result also. Okay, sir. Yes. Yes. Understood. Okay. Yes, sir. Mane seven seven semester report. Tomra jodi eight semester shudhu Android app ta toiri koro. Ta ekono sharam kichu hai ni hai ni mano chhe. Hai chhe na kato kato dura kia chhe. Sir, shudhu model ta deploy korte hobe. Model ta already amader train kora chhe. Ota deploy kor. Sir, actually amra bhi bhi lamche mane Android app ta hoye jar por amra model ta ke aro mane. ये बाढ़ 95 थे आो बेटार करूँ तो वही प्लैने ये कर